dun 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 when everything is racist it's time to add some more items to the Ingram Angle's official list of what the left now deems as racist. Let's begin with the Federal Reserve. A recent Brookings Institution study claims that the Fed has a diversity problem. It's overwhelmingly white, overwhelmingly male. Well, that's not all. The liberal publication Salon now considers gun ownership to be a sign of bigotry. For too many Americans, guns are tied to masculinity, patriotism, and white power. Never mind the fact that black Americans accounted for the highest increase in gun sales of any demographic group last year, which we think is good. Now, it gets even more absurd. If you use the wrong font, okay, you might be a racist. Is it still okay to use Times New Roman? Or is the Times problem or the Roman the problem? Or is that too Western-centric or too white? All right, and get this, physicists are now being warned against using the phrase, wait for it, quantum supremacy. Why? Because it's uncomfortably reminiscent of white supremacy, declares a recent Scientific American op-ed. And of course, the woke left is coming for your favorite board games. According to The Atlantic, the property values in the iconic family game Monopoly reflect a legacy of racism and inequality. The left is also demanding Dungeons and Dragons grapple with the racism in fantasy. D&D's 50-year history of characterizing orcs and drow as monstrous and evil is painfully reminiscent of how real-world ethnic groups have been and continue to be denigrated. And finally, put down the organic broccoli, my friends. One outlet claiming there's a disturbing nexus of organic food and white supremacists, which dates back to Nazi Germany, where there was a strong ethos about the importance of nature, healthy eating, and natural foods. That's all for this edition of Everything is Racist, but the Ingram Angle will be keeping our eyes out for more critical updates.